Here's your Edmonton real estate market update for October 2020. I'm going to explain how many homes sold, how many are listed, what happened with pricing and days on market, coming right up. Now before I get started, let me know in the comments down below if you own or rent a home. Please just type in own or rent down below. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Patrick Fields, your Edmonton real estate guy, and I'm licensed with Remax Select. We have some amazing statistics to go through again this month. And let's start with all the home sales for October. We've had a very strong surge for residential sales in the past few months. And in October, we had 1,164 houses, condominiums, and duplexes sell. Last year, October only saw 941 sell. So it's an increase of 223 homes year over year. We're only behind 2019's total yearly sales by 218 units. That is quite an amazing recovery we've had with everything that's gone on this year. Of those 1,164 sales, 747 were houses, a huge increase from the 545 that sold last year and a slight decrease from the 796 that sold in September. And just like last month, that's the highest number of single family homes sold year over year in the past five years. Condominium sales totaled 279 in October. There were 313 that sold in September, and it's almost even with last year when 277 sold. On to duplex sales. In September, we had 162 duplexes sell, and this month we had 119, so it's down by 43 units, which is normal for this time of year, but it's the highest it has been in the past five years in October as well. Last year, we had just 93 sell, so it's a very good increase there. Single-family homes saw the highest gains again when looking year over year, with an extra 202 homes selling over last year. That is absolutely huge. If you look at our year-to-date total sales, we're only down from last year by 218 homes. We are catching up, and with two months left, we could actually sell more homes this year than last year. Now let's look at the sales volume. This is when we add up the sales prices of the homes that sold and compare that to last month and last year. October total volume was 440,978,497. We beat last year by 107,465,800. Once again, this is not how fall sales usually go. Let's get into the pricing now. The average amount spent on a single family house in October was $449,567. In September, buyers spent $447,725. So it's up by $1,842 and up from 2019's average by just over $17,240. It will be very interesting to see what happens with the market now that we have snow on the ground. The average price of the 279 condominiums that sold was $220,951. That's down by $6,025 from last month's average and down from last year's average by $2,459. Prices are staying pretty consistent in the condominium market and that average price is actually up by over $5,000 from 2018. Duplex average sale price was $342,898 in September, and the average amount spent in October was $341,181. That's down by just $1,717, and it is up by over $100 from last year. Overall, in October, buyers spent an average of $378,848, which is up $2,351 from last month when it was $376,497, and up by $24,424 from last year. There's a tremendous amount of confidence still in our market. And now on to the number of homes that are currently for sale. We saw 2,059 homes get listed in Edmonton in October. In September, we had 2,183 homes listed. It's up by 313 from last year when we had 1,746 new listings in the month. 
That's the total for houses, condominiums, and duplexes just in Edmonton. This doesn't include any outlying areas or acreages. Our total number of homes for sale at the end of October sits at 5,318. At the end of September, we were 5,471. We're seeing our usual slight decline month to month, and sales will continue to slow down as well as we head into the winter and until we get into March or April of next year. And now the absorption rate. Right now, we have 5,318 homes for sale and 1,164 sold in the past month. So it would take just 4.57 months to sell off all the homes currently for sale as long as sales remained at the same pace and no new homes were listed. So right now, we are in a pretty balanced market. But how long can it last is the big question. Sales normally start to decline as we go through November, December, January, February. And now for the days on market. The homes that sold had been listed for an average of 52 days. It had taken an average of 66 days for all categories to sell last year, and 51 days was the average just last month. Single family homes took 48 days to sell, just three days slower than the 45 days from last month, but better than the 59 from last year. Condominiums took an average of 59 days to sell, better than the 76 days it took last year, and better than the 62 days it took last month. And duplexes took an average of 54 days to sell, 11 days better than the 65 days it took last year, but six days slower than the 48 days it averaged last month. If you are buying a home, make sure your agent explains what is happening in the real estate market. You wanna make sure they're guiding you and giving you the best information to help you get the best price on your new home. Here are the highest sale prices for October. There are currently 249 homes for sale that are priced over $1 million in Edmonton. 203 are houses, 29 are condominiums, and there are 17 vacant lots priced over $1 million. There were five condominiums that sold for more than half a million dollars in October. The highest condominium sale price was $825,000 in the Icon 2. It's the penthouse located on the 35th floor, 1,820 square feet with two bedrooms, three bathrooms, and absolutely gorgeous views of the ice district and breathtaking views of the city. The condo fee is $900 per month. There were 18 houses that sold for $1 million or more in October. Last year in October, only 10 sold over $1 million. The most expensive detached house sold for $2,010,000 in Cameron Heights. This bungalow home is 4,430 square feet. It has four bedrooms, seven bathrooms, a finished basement with a home theater room, a triple car garage, it backs the ravine, and has a golf green in the backyard. It is truly a stunning home. If you found this helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that button for more real estate videos. If you have a question or comment, let me know and I'll respond as soon as I can. If you're thinking of buying or selling a home, don't be shy. Feel free to call or text me. My information is up here. Stay safe and well, and I'll see you next time.